Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at 10 games that leaked way before they were even shown off. You know, they're very susceptible to plant toxins, and um, I know all about plant toxins. <laughs> before we begin, we publish new videos all week long. So be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Borderlands 3. One of the most infamous leaks to ever happen in gaming was the Walmart Canada leak. Just before E3 2018, Walmart Canada uploaded a ton of listings for video games that had yet to be announced. Some of these titles included Rage 2, Gears 5, and The Last of Us Part 2, but those and many others would be revealed shortly after the leak. The one that remained in the shadows was Borderlands 3. God, I love this company! Farm and function! When Gearbox failed to show at E3, many wondered if Walmart Canada maybe mistook the game for something else or simply made an error. We wouldn't know about Borderlands 3 until March 2019 when Gearbox held a reveal event of their own. StarCraft II, Heart of the Swarm. I'm releasing more drones into the test chamber. See if you can order them to gather those resources. Interesting how most folks have forgotten about this pretty devastating leak. While most knew that StarCraft II was going to go on for quite some time, every developer tries to ensure their game story is kept under wraps as tightly as possible. Well, not for Blizzard Entertainment. Hello, Kerrigan. In December 2010, the company suffered a massive leak of various documents, and among them was the ending to the then-not-yet-announced StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm. By the time Heart of the Swarm was announced in 2011, players began wondering, and somewhat hoping, that Blizzard would change the ending since the leaked footage spread like wildfire. Alas, they did not. I never gave up on you, Sarah! Don't you give up on us! Helldivers 2 Who could ever forget the notorious NVIDIA leak? In November 2021, NVIDIA suffered from a colossal leak through its GeForce Now subscription service. A ton of games from PlayStation leaked, most of them being PC ports for games like God of War, Sackboy A Big Adventure, and Returnal. But the biggest of them all was Helldivers 2. At the time, we only knew that Arrowhead was working on a game for PlayStation 5. No other details were known. So with the original Helldivers being a mild and quiet success, it was kind of surprising to see a sequel was being worked on. Fast forward to February 2024, and it's perhaps Sony's biggest multiplayer launch in ages. You have been a Tekken 8 Another victim of the NVIDIA leak was the long-awaited sequel to Bandai Namco's blockbuster Fighter. Capcom saw Street Fighter VI get its reveal spoiled, but we already knew about the game's development through rumblings by this point. For Tekken, though, we hadn't even finished the final season of Tekken 7 yet, and at the moment, we weren't sure if Season 4 was even going to be the last. Tekken 8 wasn't even teased until August 2022, when we got a good look at Kazuya's glorious face. And now, despite the leak, Tekken 8 is the biggest launch for a fighting game on PlayStation 5. The wait was well worth it. Oye, ¿cuál crees que es el mejor? Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Over for you! Shifting gears to a title that was less than stellar by a mile, Gotham Knights was first announced in August 2020 with a high-class world premiere trailer. But those who paid attention to rumblings on Notorious Forums 4chan and NeoGAF 
already knew of the game's existence. In August 2019, pieces of concept art for a cancelled fifth Batman Arkham game were leaked online. Along with that came word that WB Montreal, the studio behind Arkham Origins, was working on a quote, different Batman game, end quote. The funeral was tasteful. I'm sure Bruce would have appreciated it. Don't pull the widow and orphan act with me. Further rumblings would confirm the game to be multiplayer until another leak revealed story details involving the Court of Owls. As for Rocksteady, their Suicide Squad game was supposedly cancelled when these leaks occurred. Perhaps those plans should have remained, given the public's resentment towards Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Hey man, watch the- Ah! Shit! Glass. Oh my god. Dragon's Dogma 2. For only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. We promised that not every one of our remaining entries are forum posts, but given how big Dragon's Dogma has become over the years, this was too glaring to not include. Dragon's Dogma 2 was leaked way, way back in 2020 in an event known as the Mask Leak. Each encounter challenges players and their party to use their creativity to succeed. In addition to major story beats, the leak revealed character classes, mechanics like camping, a new difficulty, marketing plans, and even details on how Cyberpunk 2077's catastrophic launch affected Capcom's development and marketing agendas. Dragon's Dogma 2 wasn't officially announced until 2022, and by that point, a major leak in Capcom got enough attention for most to know about the game before its announcement. Pokemon, let's go Pikachu and Eevee. So consider this one a lesson to some of you leakers out there. If you're going to try and reveal sensitive details about a game that hasn't been announced yet, make sure you plan accordingly. In 2018, one person took to Reddit to reveal Pokemon, let's go Pikachu and Eevee. The poster was met with massive waves of doubt and mockery. And well, that's what happens when you decide to leak a game on April Fool's Day. However, Nintendo would announce the companion games almost two months later. And this is why you take stuff like this with a grain of salt, folks. Fallout 4 For many, Fallout 4 was such a long-awaited return to the nuclear apocalypse. Thing is that others already knew of the game's existence long before it was first revealed in 2015, mere months before launch. In 2012, controversial website Kotaku was shown various documents of the story that would become Fallout 4. After Kotaku shared these details with the public, the outlet found themselves in hot water with Bethesda Softworks. By the time Fallout 4 was gearing up for launch, Kotaku claimed that Bethesda and a handful of other AAA publishers had blacklisted them for the past two years. It's safe to assume that this was all done because of the leak. Twisted Metal Now, we've spent a majority of the video talking about games that have already launched, but for this one entry, we felt like this was going on for way too long for us to ignore, and considering it is now cancelled, it's kind of worth us mentioning now more than ever. Word of a new Twisted Metal game for PlayStation 5 had been spreading like wildfire with new tidbits for years now, and you could trace it all the way back to 2020 or even 2019 when series co-creator David Jaffe said he had a meeting with Sony to discuss the future of the franchise. I think they were happy for me. Then, 
Shortly after the launch of Destruction All-Stars in 2020, it was reported that staff from developer Lucid Games were being poached by Sony and sent over to Fire Sprite. And in October 2022, a PlayStation document would reveal Fire Sprite to be working on a vehicular combat game for PS5 under the code name Project Red Star. And on top of that, a few birdies of our own had even told us that there were devs who were working on the Twisted Metal game on set during the TV show's first season. And now, the game's canceled, according to Bloomberg. And uh, massive layoffs at Fire Sprite happened after we had already written and gotten this video edited. So, uh, yeah. The game was real at one point, and we knew about it for five years, and now no more. I had killed almost everyone, but she was still out there. Grand Theft Auto 6. Lucia, do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. The end of 2022 was somewhat explosive as we were about to turn into the new year. With GTA 5 seeing years upon years of support thanks to its online component, many wondered if GTA 6 was ever going to be a thing to begin with. Rumblings popped up here and there, but nothing concrete. Rockstar Games would confirm the game's development in February 2022, however, months after this announcement, Rockstar found themselves compromised. In September 2022, one person claimed to have hacked the company's database with an Amazon Fire Stick and proceeded to publish over 90 videos showing footage of a dev build. Rockstar went into full damage control mode, issuing DMCAs and shutting down comments and replies across their social media. At the time of this video, the hacker has been placed under an indefinite hospital order since December 2023. And hey, at least we got a real good look at the game at the end of 2023. But which of these leaks did you find the most ludicrous? Let us know down in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to Mojo Plays for more great videos every day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.